What's up guys, welcome to the live. Today I'm gonna to be taking any and all questions on Amazon FBA, passive income, how to make money online. Uh, so super pumped. Let's just wait until a couple people join in here. And let's see if this is working right now. Looks like it's working. Yo, what up? What up nannies? All right, so let's go ahead and ask a couple questions. Amazon FBA, passive income, anything you guys want. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot, a lot of traveling very soon, probably the next whole month. Gonna be going to Fiji, Norway, Iceland. So I'm super pumped, gonna be awesome vlogs coming uh, for you guys. I just bought a drone too, so that's gonna be sick. Um, where is the chat here? <clears throat> All right, what up, Eddie, Miguel, Jonathan? Um, will I come to Cali? I'm always in Cali. I was just in Cali last weekend. Hussein. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, you know, I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna hang out. You guys can ask me any questions, how to scale your business, how to get started selling on Amazon FBA. Um, you know, really anything to do with passive income. So. How long do I think Amazon will be around? That's a great first question. Um, I think you guys can answer it yourselves because I mean, obviously Amazon FBA is just getting started. Um, it's only the beginning. It's very clear, you know, if you've done any research and actually if you ask anybody on the street, it's very clear that Amazon FBA is just getting started. So um, yes, it's gonna be around probably all of the 20, you know, for the whole 21st century. Does organic search by page carry more weight than doing giveaways using storefront super URL? Hold on, let me process that with my brain. <laughs> um, actually, it depends. The super URL method, I thought that it didn't work for the longest time, and recently I found out that it did. So um, I still recommend people to do the original organic search method, just because um, you know it's the classic, it's the classic method. How much do you really need for your first pr product? All caps. All right, Xantox. Great question. If you can find a product to source under two dollars, then you know I would say between a thousand and two thousand dollars is great. Um, you know you can make that's a that's a killer first order. Um, you know anything above two dollars to source, usually that's like electronics, things like that that are more complicated, not just like simple pieces of you know of plastic or just small little products. Then you know obviously it's going to be more expensive, maybe two thousand to three thousand dollars. So it all depends on you, right? If it's too expensive, go and find another product that's cheaper, right? Or you can order a smaller test order. So I mean it's all on you. It's all on you. Is it possible to find a product without the Jungle Scout web app? Um, yes, it is. Actually, I just made a video yesterday on me doing some product research last night, and I found a, a bunch of amazing products without the Jungle Scout web app, so just go ahead and check it out. Um, it uses the new releases method, which is a really good method. So you still need the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, though. I still think that you definitely need the Chrome extension to do product research. What do you do when someone hijacks your listing? Cease and desist letter. So if you're in the course, you know I've obviously got a cease and desist letter in there, or you can just find one online or you can just type one out. Um, you know, If you want, you can have a lawyer type one out, although you can probably find one online. So yeah, you just keep sending that. Make sure there's a Chinese translation. Most of the time it's Chinese hijackers, and then you'll be good to go. So, okay, Jonathan says, you helping me, you helped me change my mindset, man. I just started Millionaire Fastlane, and that's five for two deal really caught me. Um, oh yeah, when you trade, so basically what he's talking about, so one of my favorite books is Millionaire Fastlane. If you haven't read this book, you should go read it right now. Um, go on Amazon, order it. It literally changed my life. So I read this book when I was completely broke and I was just like, you know, I don't know. I thought I knew that there was more out there for me. So, um, yeah, so basically what it's talking about is that you trade, you know, all of society, they trade five days. So they're weekdays for two days off every single week. And it's not a fair, you know, you're trading five for two, you know, instead of trading two for five. So that's what he's talking about. Uh, let's see what else. The mentorship that comes with your course, do you normally communicate via email with your students? No, all the mentorship is done. Uh, so every, all, every single student has access to my personal Facebook chat. So that is how the mentorship is done. That way, you know, it's instant. And then I reply within the day. Obviously, I've got a lot of students. So I reply every single day within the day. How can you get a sample of your product and take your own pictures? 
Um, oh, you can actually go into Amazon and you can create a fulfillment order or a removal order. Um, you can actually just create a fulfillment order in there in your seller central and then you can send it to yourself. Uh, just put your address in there and then wait until it gets to um, your house and then just take pictures and you're good to go. Is there any possible way you can be my mentor? Yeah, if you join the Amazon Freedom course, then you'll get my, you'll get my mentorship for life. So um, what is the book called again? The book I was talking about was Millionaire Fast Lane. If you guys haven't read this book, you guys should go and read this book. It will help you guys out a lot. When would you say is best to quit your job and focus on um, Amazon? Um, okay, so for me, because I'm young, you know, when I first started out, I was 21 years old. It was a little bit different because you know, I could take risks. I'm young. I don't have kids, obviously. You know, I don't have any kind of responsibilities. All I had was a little bit of student debt. I had 40,000 student debt at the time. Um, so, you know, basically for me, I just quit right away. As soon as I found out about entrepreneurship, as soon as I, as I found out about Amazon FBA and committed to it, I quit. But it depends on your situation. In general, I would say, wait until you've proven to yourself, you know, wait until you're actually making some money. I would say, you know, even like 2000 a month in passive income from Amazon. If you can make 2000 a month in passive income from Amazon, quit your job because, you know, then you can focus your whole time on Amazon and then, you know, you've already proven to yourself you can make it work. So just do that. But it all depends on your risk tolerance, right? All right, let's see what else we got. Is Shopify dropshipping the, way, the best way to start all the way to Amazon FBA and build up? No. Um, so sh Shopify dropshipping. So I would say if you haven't done either, um, you have to choose one. And there is a big difference between Shopify dropshipping and Amazon FBA. In Shopify, basically, if you guys don't know what Shopify is, you, go, you, you create your own website, you create your own store. Shopify is, is like the, the plugin or the software that you install onto your website. And um, that allows you to... Um, basically put products on there and then you know basically the whole problem with, with Shopify is that you have to go and find your own um, traffic which means that you have to go and run Facebook ads YouTube ads you know um, Google AdWords all that stuff uh, meanwhile on Amazon the traffic's already there people are already searching for your product every single day so actually it's a very good question a lot of people don't know which ones to start and if you've committed to starting Amazon FBA I would not recommend um, you know trying to do Shopify at the same time like I just wouldn't recommend it um, it's definitely you know you're just gonna uh, spread yourself thin and you're going to be chasing too many rabbits. So Amazon crackdown. Thanks dad. I'm waiting for my product to get in this week. Your course is the reason I started to pursue financial freedom. Um, you know, I'm very happy because it's my life purpose. I recently discovered that to, um, you know, get as many people as possible to wake up because it's just like, you know, um, it's just like, you know, the most of society is just like they're sheep. They're just stuck in slavery every single day. And my life was headed toward that and I saved myself. So, you know, I want to save as many people as possible. I want to show people that it's really not that hard when all of society, you know, is lazy, average, mediocre. You know, they don't put in any work. They gave up very quickly. No persistence, no belief in themselves, lack of self-confidence. It's very easy to go. And, you know, all you have to do is just do a little bit more than the rest of society. And then, you know, you will succeed. So that's what I discovered. That's what I realized. Now, let me just uh, fix this right here. There you go. Cool. Okay. I'm so scared. How do you increase sales? I'm new in FBA. Can you help me increase my sales? Um, I mean, watch my videos on this channel. Why are you, first of all, why are you scared? A lot of people have this innate fear in themselves and you guys have to realize like, it's just baseless. What are you scared of? Right? In today's world, if you fail, let's say, you know, the worst case scenario, somebody goes bankrupt. There's such thing called bankruptcy, which means that all your debt is waived. All right. Meanwhile, if you're, you know, this is, I'm talking about if you're from Canada, from the United States, from anywhere in the Western world, meanwhile, you know, in a country abroad in the, in the third world, you know, if you're from there, then yeah, I would be scared because if you lose your money, you know, on, on an investment or something like that, then you risk dying and you risk starving. So, you know, you have to understand if you're from Canada, from the United States, any Western country, you literally have nothing to be scared of because the worst case scenario that can happen is, okay, you have to work a little bit harder and you have to wait a little bit, a little bit longer to succeed. So... That's it. What are my thoughts on using viral launch? It works. It's the biggest viral launch. Uh, it's the biggest launch software. So it works. I've used it many times. Um, there are new ones popping up. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep checking that, but viral launch is the biggest one for sure. Let's see what else we got. What is the difference between an EIN and LLC? So basically EIN, as far as I know, um, I'm Canadian, so I never had to get one. Um, if, you're, if you're American or you want to have an LLC in America, 
basically an EIN is like an employee identification number or something like that. It just identifies your company within, you know, for, for taxes. So yeah, and I'll see that's just a limited liability corporation. So it's just a business structure, just like a corporation. That's all it is. So yeah. Bet you're ready to leave Scottsdale. It's getting hot. Yeah. So a little bit of an update. Um, so I'm actually going to Fiji um, in like a week. So I'm actually leaving uh, Scottsdale for good finally, because it's like very, very hot now. So it's like in the nineties all week. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to be flying to Fiji and then there's going to be, there's going to be a ton of drone vlogs. There's going to be some epic stuff coming up. So a ton of mindset, you know, a ton of stuff on the beach, maybe some new ads. Um, so yeah, it's going to be cool. I might do a live if the internet is good enough on in Fiji, I might do a live. I'm going to be on a private Island. So I'm going to be Island hopping around Fiji on like a, a seaplane. So it's going to be awesome. So I'm very, very excited. All right. Let's see. How do you check trade uh, trademark registration for private label branding? Um, there's actually a website. It's called uh, USPTO. So I think I covered it on the channel. If not, I obviously covered it in the course. Yeah, I did. It's in one of the lessons in there. So you can just go on Google, type in USPTO, and basically that will take you to the website that will check uh, that allows you to check for trademarks. So Dan is the man. Found a 40k product within the first week of his course. Getting shipped now. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. That's, uh, that's amazing to hear. Um, so by the way, for everybody saying that I'm very young, I get a lot, I get that a lot and I see it this way. Yes, I'm young, but you know, it's, it's just sad that most people waste their whole lives. It's just sad that most people, you know, don't realize that entrepreneurship is the way to go, that going out on their own is probably going to be a lot better when you have total control over your income and over your life. That's probably going to be a lot better for you than trying to, you know, get a job and trying to make ends meet every single week for the rest of your life until you're 65, right? So just logically, um, you know, it makes sense. How much do I work on Amazon FBA a month? It depends on how much product research I'm doing. So if not, then literally a couple hours a month um, and that's it. David Lloyd just won uh, my Skype chat product launch. Awesome. I'm super happy for you. We're going to get that going soon. Uh, just hit me up on Facebook and we'll get that going. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, it's getting really hot in Arizona. Was in LA last weekend. Um, if you guys are, uh, are not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Links are below. I was on a private jet. First private jet flight was pretty good. Um, I mean, it's just a private jet, but... Um, yeah, all it is is, you know, a metal box that gets you from, from point A to point B. Oh, my thoughts on Trump banning Amazon. Trump is not going to ban Amazon. Do you realize how ridiculous that sounds? Um, what DJI drone did I get? Um, the DJI Phantom 4, that's what it's called. All right, this is a good question. Someone asked, how to get off your ass and actually get stuff done? All right, everybody, listen up. Okay, it's going to get good right now. So, um, basically in life, you're either going up or you're going down. So you have to realize every single day, you know, the universe or God or whatever you want to call it, you've been given all the time in the world to accomplish, you know, anything you want in your life, literally anything you want. And I'm not just saying this. I used to be a non believer you know, I used, to, I used to not believe that anything's possible a long time ago until I got to seven figures a year, until I got to multiple seven figures a year, until I got to, you know, in two weeks I'm flying to Fiji on like, you know, a ridiculous, a ridiculous um, trip. And like, I never would have thought that at 22, I would have been able to. The only reason is because you know, I got off my ass and I took action regardless of how many times I failed, regardless. All right. And every time I failed, I just laughed. I just laughed. That's it. So you just got to laugh it off and you just got to keep going. That's all it is. So, um, that is basically it. Made first page, not seeing any organic sales. What else can I do? Give it a couple of days. Uh, a lot of the times, um, Amazon needs a couple, um, a couple of days to catch up on the organic sales. So just give it a couple of days. If not, then figure out what your main competitor is doing right that you're doing wrong. So age doesn't matter. Yep, age does not matter whatsoever. Do you think it's a good idea to take a day to relax and regroup or should I go 100 all day every day? Okay, if you're broke right now, if you're broke, you got no money, um, you know, there's no time to relax, right? What's the saying? Beggars can't be choosers. So you can't choose to relax. Relax time is only there when you're actually, you know, when you've proven to yourself that you put in the work and that you are making at least some money and that you're not totally wasting your life basically, all right? So if you're broke, okay? The best part about being broke is that you can tell yourself, you know, when you make it, you can tell yourself and you always know that you're self-made. So that was the best part about being broke. You know, at least, you know, when you're broke, you're still happy because you're still, you've got this dream 
and you know you know that it's gonna happen one day so yeah anyway go 100 every single day and then as soon as you prove to your as soon as you hit your first goal and you're making some money then you can chill out and then go again <clears throat> All right, let's see what other questions. Has the bulk of your money come from Amazon sell, uh, sales, selling courses, or some other source? I'm not a course seller, all right? If you're watching this, you're watching Dan Bass because, you know, you, you like my message, you like my voice, and then, you know, your purpose aligns with mine. So what I'm saying by that is that it doesn't matter, you know, if I'm selling a course or not because long-term, I'm going to have a podcast. I'm going to have, so I'm actually going to do the Freedom Podcast. And my goal is to become an entrepreneurship influencer. Um, you know, I made a lot from Amazon and then I made a lot from selling the course, obviously. Um, but you know, cause I've got this YouTube audience, but my main focus is that I got to work so hard every single day, every single day. I got to work so hard because I got so many people listening and I'm going to have so many people listening. And you know, I feel like I'm one of the best people, if not the best on YouTube online to be spreading this particular message, you know? So that is, that is what I do every single day. So that's an answer to your question. Is it possible to do two payments for your course? Yep, it is. I actually put back the, the two-month uh, plan. Uh, the, so it's a two-month plan, so you can go and check it out. Um, Dan, do you help with product verification on your course? Yeah, I do. Uh, so you can just send me your product, and then I'll actually personally look over it and tell you if it's good or not. So what type of Facebook ads should I run for, pro for promoting my Amazon products? I hate giveaway services. Uh, you can actually check the video out on my channel about Facebook ads, so that'll be super useful for you. Um, can you help me to increase sales by doing one-on-one -on -one mentoring? Yes, if you join the course. I swear you've asked this question like 10 times, dude. Relax, chill out here. I'm gonna put you in timeout. Like, <laughs> all right. Do you work more than a nine to five job? I haven't had a nine to five job in a year. Thank God. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I, I'm gonna be traveling to Fiji uh, two weeks. Stay tuned for some epic vlogs. I just bought the DJI Phantom 4 drone. I also bought a brand new camera. Uh, the lens just came in over there. Uh, it's like a $3,000 lens, so it's gonna be awesome. I'm actually gonna go and uh, record a vlog probably tomorrow. Gonna go out on my bike here. Last week in Arizona, so I'm gonna try to get some epic uh, mountain drone shots. So it's gonna be epic. And then um, uh, Fiji for two weeks, and then Norway and Iceland for a week and a half. So it's gonna be epic. Um, when am I flying out my successful students? Actually, I flew one out not too long ago. Uh, you can go check out the uh, the interview on my channel. Um, in the past, I've discounted my course. Do you do this randomly? I discounted my course when I had like a thousand subscribers. I have twenty four thousand now, so no, there's going to be no more discounts. And I think that at the price that the course is at right now, the reason it's at that price, I could easily charge a thousand or two thousand dollars. The reason it's at that price is because I want to make it accessible to people, and I'm still offering mentorship at that price point. So, yeah. Um, what is stopping you from having 30 items, making more revenue? Nothing. If you want that, go ahead. Um, just join that course. How long will I be accepted to the private group? Uh, by tonight, I've got an assistant going through accepting people, uh, making sure that everybody you know who's who's uh, getting into the group is actually in the group. So uh, by tonight, you should be um, you should be accepted. I'm gonna launch my product soon. Hopefully, I can retire my dad from work. Um, that's awesome. Honestly, if you've got a powerful why, you know, if you've got a powerful reason that you're that you want financial freedom for yourself, you will succeed. I have no doubt. If you're putting out good in the world, you'll succeed. If you're putting out bad in the world, you'll fail. So that's just how it works. All right, let's see. Have I been able to help my family with wealth? Um, you know, I did um, to a certain extent. The thing is, is that you have to realize. I thought that you know your family would take it with open arms. And the thing is, you have to realize that people, you know, it's not that easy. Like people don't want to seem like you're just handing them everything, especially not your family. So you got to be careful with it. Um, you know, you don't want to make them look like, you know, they can't make their own money kind of thing. So you got to be, you got to be strategic with it. All right. So, yo, Joseph, what up? What up? Um, are we allowed to make YouTube videos talking about your course? Yeah, why not? And you can actually get an affiliate link because uh, tomorrow you're in my course. So you can get an affiliate link. And then you can actually put it in there and you can make some money off of that too. Facebook review groups, do they still work? Um, yeah, they, they still work. The thing is, is that you just need to launch a lot. You just need to do a lot more coupons than before. So, you know, I would, so before like, okay, when I was first starting out, you can actually do 10 coupons a day 
um, for three days or four days and you'd rank on the first page and you'd even, you'd even, it would even work for competitive niches. So maybe like 10 a day for three days or 20 a day for three days and it would work. But the problem with that is that now, you know, the Amazon algorithm re recently changed. So I would do, you know, 10 a day for three days wouldn't work anymore. You'd have to do something longer. So four to five days, maybe like 20 a day, 25 a day, all the way up to 50 a day. Right. So, um, you know, it's sometimes it's difficult to find 50 people in a Facebook review group to go and actually, you know, buy your product on there. So that's why you use things like viral launch, because they've got a mass amount of people and they can pretty much guarantee that, you know, you'll get, let's say, 200 or 250 people or 300 people, um, you know, to get your to review your thing. So, Dan, thanks for doing this live. I'm actually going to be doing a live uh, every Wednesday and every Saturday. I'm going to try to. Um, when I'm going to be traveling within the next month, it will be kind of it will be kind of difficult because of the internet situation. So, um, yeah. Hey Dan, I started your course a month ago, and then I started making 5k a month. So far, not much, but we'll keep grinding. That's awesome, 5,000 a month. So you paid 500 dollars for a course, and now you're making 5,000 a month. That's literally a 10x on your return within one month. Within one month, and people talk about spending 50 grand to go to college. So you know, I'm happy that the, my course is working. And, you know, obviously I think it's the best one out there. I believe in it. So, um, yeah. Okay. How do you make two separate Amazon stores? One for your uh, brand and one for high margin products. So actually this is a good question. I cover this in the course. There's a specific lesson on that. I haven't made a video on my channel. I think it's too specific, but I'm going to explain it in a second here. So, um, basically, you want to, so, so your first account that you have, so you just started out, um, someone asked, do I have a course? Yeah, the link is right below. So basically when you're first starting out, you know, you've got an account and the, the basic strategy is, you know, you test out products. So you've got your first product, let's say it succeeds. Awesome. Then you ask yourself, do you want to build a brand around that product? If you do, then you release, you know, one, two, three, four products in that um, niche, in that brand, you build a brand out of it. Um, so, the thing is to, to set up a second account, you've got to show Amazon that you're already making money. So, um, yeah, so you've got to show, you've got to show Amazon that you're already making money. And if they can see that you're already making money, then, um, basically they'll open a second account for you. There's a certain way that you have to go, uh, doing this. So you just gotta be, uh, you just gotta already like make money. Okay. You can't just open a second account. Um, you know, without proving to Amazon that you're already making them money. Cause the thing is they make money from your FBA fees. So yeah. Please do more of these lives. I love it. I just said I'm going to be doing one every Wednesday, every Saturday. Uh, so as long as the internet situation is good wherever I'm traveling. So um, yeah, is it possible to do Amazon FBA living outside the U.S.? Yeah, absolutely. You've got go and check the countries list on Amazon. You'll be able to see if your country's on that list. If it is good, if not, then you can't. How's the new bike, Dan? It's awesome. I'm going to be getting an Audi R8. Uh, when I'm done traveling, so in a month, I'm going to be getting an Audi R8. So I'm pretty pumped. Uh, it's been my dream car forever. If you watch my video from like a year ago, I've got a video there where it's like, you know, my, my goals and how I'm going to become a millionaire. Um, I already became one. A lot of the goals I've already reached. Actually, my bike that I have now, um, the fastest uh, Harley Davidson ever made. I have that bike now too. So it is pretty awesome. Um, all right, let's see. Can you quickly touch on UPC and FNSQ barcodes? Um, I think I've got a video on the channel talking about that. So basically, okay, so a UPC, unique product uh, code, I think that's what it stands for. Basically, it's universal or universal product code, that's what it's called. So basically it goes on, you know, for every single product that you make for every single variation, you need a UPC code. An FNSQ, that's the same thing, except it's in Amazon. So it's only a code for that works in the Amazon infrastructure, you know, between the Amazon warehouses. So yeah, you gotta, um, when you're making your shipping plan, it will tell you whether to put your UPC on there, whether that's okay, or if they want an FNSQ on there. So just, um, you know, just, uh, just make sure that uh, you've got the right thing on there. Why do people not reveal their product of brand awareness and building a brand is important? Uh, well, who, what people are we talking about? Are we talking about YouTubers? Are we talking about people in general? You know, some people, for example, the reason that I'm not gonna reveal my products obviously is because, you know, you don't want people going on there and then kind of like, first of all, stealing your products and then also leaving bad reviews and opens, it opens you up to a lot of negativity that you don't, you know, you wanna keep it separate. So that's, that's why, that, that's, what I, that, that's my answer to that. 
Am I going to the China Fair in Wangzhou, Canton Fair? No, uh, I'm not going there. You don't need to. Do I think buyer launch is worth it for PPC? Uh, yes. What, what do you mean for PPC? It doesn't really make sense. PPC is pay per click. Um, viral launch is totally different. Viral launch is for you to actually get on the first page and start making sales. PPC is just pay per click. So it's just, you know, um, it's something you're launching. I mean, it's something you're running for, for the lifetime of your Amazon product. So it gets you that extra sales. Can you start Amazon FBA if you're under 18? Um, no, although you can if you sign up under a person that's over 18. So maybe like your mother or your father or something like that. Hey Dan, should I use Viral Launch for a 1,000 order uh, unit? Yes, absolutely, 100%. Because, you know, it, it depends. Try what I would recommend for product launches is try to launch your product on the first page. Um, you know, try to like just run PPC, automatic PPC campaign, uh, $25 a day. Try that for a couple of days. If that's not getting you, you know, ranked, and it probably won't. It probably like 90% of the chance it won't get you ranked. Then use a launch service. That's your only way. So. What can I do if a competitor purposely left a one-star review? Nothing. You can't. There used to be a way to actually check um, whether it, you know whether you, like you can actually find out who it is, um, and then now I mean you you really can't do anything. But don't worry about it. I mean, for every one-star review that you'll get, you'll get 10, 20, 50 good reviews, 100 good reviews. So Amazon is such a high ROI. What's the risk uh, that you invest in a bad product? Um, obviously. So. My product on the on the front page page ranked at sixty one thousand. Um, okay, that's not a question. Let's see what else we got. Is it normal to feel overwhelmed? Uh, well, depending on what, it's it's, it, it's all personality type. Uh, so I don't know if you're if you're an entrepreneur, you're probably overwhelmed a lot of the time. But then there's things like you know, I mean, meditation, writing your goals down. You know, segmenting everything, writing down what exactly we need to do every single day. So, I mean, it's normal to feel overwhelmed. Yeah, it's not for everybody. What's my favorite color? Um, black, blue, red. I would say. Doing any meetups in Ontario? I used to live in Ontario. Grew up in Ontario. Um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna move back there because I just don't like it. So, yeah, I'm gonna be moving to British Columbia. That's gonna be my place to live after I travel for a bit. Uh, Dan, I'd like to commend you on your high tolerance for stupid questions. You're a better man than me. Um, I don't believe that there are any stupid questions. I mean, yeah, there are stupid questions, but you know, how, how else are you going to learn, right? How else are you going to learn? What do I do on a day-to-day -day basis now that I'm financially free? Um, fulfilling my life purpose, which is to grow my YouTube channel, grow my audience, grow my personal brand. I want to become a best-selling author, so I want to write a book on, uh, you know, changing especially young people's lives. So, you know, the book's gonna be about how to make passive income, how to start Amazon, things like that, how to build a brand, you know, and how to not, like an alternative way to not going to college. So I'm gonna be writing this book soon. Um, and, I, and I'm, you know, it's gonna be a bestseller because there's no other book like this out there. So yeah, and I write super well. <laughs> uh, let's see. Once I finish the course, um, which should be soon, when should I place an order and do my launch? Um, I mean, as soon as you find a good product, then you're good. What is the best launch service? There's no best. The biggest one is uh, Viral Launch. Viral Launch is expensive though. It's three ninety-seven or four hundred dollars, but. I would recommend doing it, you know, if you, especially if you, have, if you got a big order and if you can't rank on the first page, then you got to do it. Try out doing the Facebook review groups first. So try out posting in there. Hey guys, just looking for, um, you know, 97% off or 98% off or 90% off, um, you know, this product looking for, you know, only 20 or 30 or 50 available and then just have people message you for, um, for, um, for coupons. So yeah. Anthony. Yeah, I remember that. What's the best way to find suppliers in the U.S.? There's a site called ThomasNet. Uh, the thing is with the U.S., actually, a lot of the times uh, the products are not much more expensive in the U.S. So um, it would be good, you know, it would be good to go and check out whether your product is um, more expensive in the U.S. or not. Um, but yeah, like a lot of the times, China isn't even that cheap unless you bargain down. Which credit card would I recommend for cashback? I'm Canadian, so my advice doesn't doesn't count. But I've heard that in the states. The Chase credit cards are really good. Like the Sapphire one is really good. Um, so, 
Six Months to Six Figures book by Peter 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 Vucht. Is that how you pronounce it? I've never read it, but I've seen it a lot. So how did my family take my success? Like seeing you with money, basically. The thing is that I don't flaunt my money. I don't show my money. I don't flaunt my money. I don't need to. People that show their money and they flaunt their money, it's because they're filling a void within themselves. This is what you guys got to understand. You know, American society and Western society, they brainwash people into thinking that you need a ton of money to live a good life. You know, and they totally miss the point. The reason to have a lot of money is not to, you know, go and buy Lamborghinis, to go and buy, you know, whatever, to, to go and show, show off basically, right? If you're, for example, traveling and you want to stay at a luxury resort and that's for yourself, that makes you happy, that's awesome. You know, but you got to ask yourself, are people really happy? You know, when people are excessively being flashy and things like that, if that's what you like, awesome. If that's for yourself, but if you're doing that to make other people happy, I mean, to, you know, to, to please other people, then you're just filling a void, void within yourself. So how did my family take my success? I'm no different than I was before. I can just do more things. So, yep. How much do I spend for product photography? Like 300 bucks. Um, every new product is about 250 to 300 um, because I want to make sure that it's good. Does Jungle Scout show accurate sales figures? Um, so yeah, well, it's not accurate. Okay, Jungle Scout is an estimate all the time. So if you go on the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, it's always an estimate. Um, you know, you, can, you can't trust it until you've looked at it for a couple days. And that's where the Jungle Scout product tracker comes in. You can just go and look it up and you can see whether, you know, it's been selling for the past 30 days, 60 days, how many units it's been selling a day. What's my goal age for retirement? I am retired. <laughs> I retired as soon as, I was making a, the thing is, you realize as soon as you're making a passive income that's double your essential living expenses, you're retired. So, you know, entrepreneurship is clearly a no-brainer. I've been retired for a year. So, <laughs> yeah, I do whatever I want. All right. As a very satisfied student in your course, what's the best way to communicate with you? Um, Facebook, Facebook Messenger. Uh, you have me on Facebook, so you're good. At one point did I know I was destined uh, to be an entrepreneur? Uh, so let's see. By the way, there's a good question here. What, what do you spend your money on if you don't spend it? Genuinely curious. Why are you guys, or why are you pre-programmed to spend your money? Why, you know, the reason people stay poor, the reason someone's gonna stay poor even if they make money, the reason lottery winners lose everything, the reason you see all these new basketball players that just get their contracts at a high school, you know, $500,000 contracts, things like that, you know, is because the reason why you know, you see them going broke right after is because they just spend it all because they're pre-programmed. As soon as they get money, they spend it. All right. So a true wealthy person, a successful person is going to take the money. Yes. He's going to spend it on him or herself. You know, he's going to do the things he likes to do, but he's not going to be excessive. And you know, if he does want to be excessive, he has to increase his income, but he's going to be an investor. So he invests into, you know, hard assets, cryptocurrency, real estate, whatever it is that you want to invest into franchises or, you know, open up an actual business, whatever you want. So why should I take my course before others like Derek Struggle? It's up to you to decide. <laughs> um, Derek Struggle is a great guy. So, and I'm sure he has a great course. I've never seen it, but how did I do in school? I dropped out. Uh, okay, let's see. Thanks for putting together all the dots under one course in personal mentoring. Um, I mean, you know, honestly, it's the least I could do for my audience, for my channel. So yeah, inspection of my first product, 500 units necessary? No, because it's already inspected if you found a gold supplier an assessed supplier and their um, revenue in Alibaba is like um, above a million a year. It's already been inspected, so you shouldn't worry about anything. Do I have any investments other than FBA? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty personal question, but um, yeah, I do. Of course, I mean, you would be stupid not to have any investments. Um, do you know any good books besides the ones you mentioned on your channel? Uh, yeah, a ton, actually. I just read a good book, um, The Four Seasons of Life by Jim Rohn. Go and read it. One of my favorite books of all time. Best place to get pictures. Um, honestly, okay, this is a good method. So just go on Craigslist and then, you know, find some local college kid. There's a ton of local college kids that, you know, have amazing DSLR cameras, you know, have amazing cameras and they don't have any clients. So just go, you know, you don't have to pay them a lot. And then, you know, this is if you don't have a camera and then you can go and get amazing uh, photos done. Not very hard on a white background or, you know, let's say it's a kitchen thing. So just in the kitchen or something like that. So, you know, not hard at all. Um, but if you do have a camera, try to do it yourself. Um, if not, then Fiverr. 
Do I like my life now more than I did when I worked a nine to five job? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't even know if that's a serious question. How much do I bench? I benched uh, yesterday with chest day. So flat bench for five, two and a half plates for five. Um, can I start FBA from Lebanon even though it's not listed in the authorized countries? Um, no, you can't. Sorry, dude. I found a crazy awesome product but cannot find a supplier at all. Very common problem. Um, you know, sometimes you find an amazing product and it's happened to me where I found an amazing product and um, you know, you can't find a supplier. And so you, you know, you have no choice. If you can't find a supplier, how are you gonna source it? Uh, so when launching a product, do you come up with a random brand name for it, correct? Um, I mean, it does, no, not random. Just make sure that it's specific. So if you're launching a baby product, you know, maybe maybe like, you know, name it something like Baby Pro. You know, that actually sounds like it's a baby brand. Don't name it something like, you know, Uncle Bob's General Stuff. Like it doesn't make any sense, right? So, um, yeah. Do I differentiate my products? A lot of the times, no, I don't. Um, the thing is, is that you differentiate it innately by creating a better listing and by creating better branding, a logo, and by creating a brand. So you really don't have to do a lot. I personally take in Tanner Fox, uh, Derek Struggle, and now Dan's course. Dan's my favorite. Um, Derek has a lot of good content too. Uh, awesome. I mean, I'm sure that all these guys, I mean, Tanner, I used to watch Tanner before I even started, and I thought it was amazing what he was doing. I thought it was, it was amazing, like, how he was spreading this message online. Nobody was really doing it at the time, and so that's why I kind of got in there, and then, you know, I came in and started my YouTube channel. But, I mean, all great guys. The fact that we're all out there and we're all spreading kind of more or less the same message I mean, you know, some do it with Lamborghinis, some do it with in different ways. I mean, it all depends that it attracts different audiences. So, um, you know, I take my hat off to everybody like, you know, huge respect. So, yeah. What's my family's heritage European? Um, hockey fan. Yeah, I played hockey when I was younger. Obviously, I'm Canadian. Um, let's see. Have I thought about having a book club? Yeah, I think so. When I'm going to get my website up and running, I'm probably going to get a book club on there. I just bought the danvast.com domain. I paid like two grand for it. <laughs> so, do you need reviews before using Viral Launch? Great question, yes you do. You need to have, I would say, five between five and seven verified reviews. A Jungle Scout is not working great for the Indian market. Could you suggest any other tool? Not familiar with the Indian market, haven't touched this, so I can't. Um, what is one of your best ways to create premium perceived value on your, on your Amazon listing? Okay, I always say this, make your product look as if, you know, if Apple was releasing this product, make it look like that. In the listing, in the photos, and everything. So, yeah. All right, let's see what else we got. How can I get around the hazmat review? Um when I'm launching a product. So a lot of products go into hazmat review, especially this, this didn't happen like a year ago. This happened up until recently, uh, maybe a couple months ago, it started happening. And basically, um, you know, it, it happens. All you have to do is fill out a document in there. There's two documents and there's like two different pages you gotta fill out and just, you know, write in there that it's not, um, you know, there's no chemicals or anything like that. You're good to go, send it in. Uh, Dan, easy ways to acquire capital for product launch. Um, so what I did is I cleaned windows. Just start a local business, you know, Pick up, I don't know, um, you know, what, what can you do? Window cleaning, landscaping, mowing lawns. There's a ton of great opportunities out there. So, yeah. Um, a friend of mine asked, what's the biggest mistake people make when starting FBA? Um, not taking a course, not having a mentor, obviously that, um, not investing into product research pro uh, software, so like Jungle Scout, things like that. Um, what else? Um, investing into restricted products. That's a big one right there. How would I go about selling a non-FDA approved product? You can't. It's obviously non-FDA approved for a reason. So, I want, oh, this is an OG right here, Carlos Blanco. I was watching one of your first videos on YouTube. I was a security guy at the gym trying to get you in trouble back in Canada. Um, what was it? I don't even remember, but it's one of my like earlier vlogs. I got a ton of like really early vlogs back when I was broke, back when I was just hustling out there, cleaning windows. Enjoying life, um, and all I had was a dream, but 
uh, yeah, I just like vlogged stuff. What did I, what happened? I actually have no idea. I think, I think I was trying to get into a gym because I couldn't afford a gym membership. I was trying to get into a gym with my friends and then the security guy caught me and I was refusing to leave. So I think that's what happened. Um, so have I ever spent more than 10 K on a product? Yeah. On a huge order. Once the product's already been selling a long, a, a while, but never for your first order. I would never do that. Is it okay to be out of stock for two weeks? Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, obviously not preferable, but yeah, it's, it's fine. I would say, um, you might just have to do a relaunch when your product, uh, you know, to get it back in once it gets back into Amazon to get it back on the first page. For example, skin rollers seem to be selling really well, but are not FDA approved. Any idea on how to become a seller in that market? If they're not FDA approved, um, you can't sell it because it's gonna get removed off Amazon. And if you see someone on Amazon selling it, they're gonna get removed within, usually the cycle is three months. So someone's gonna be up there for three months, they're gonna make some money, they're gonna get removed. So the problem with that is that they're gonna reorder a ton of units and you don't, you never know when you're gonna get removed. It's not a good way of doing long-term business. So yeah. Do I plan on selling on other marketplaces? Yeah, I'm trying to get into Australia right now. So yeah, cause they recently launched FBA. How much did I spend on Chrome extensions? Uh, just Jungle Scout, like $250. I spent that like a year ago. So, yep. Let's see how long we've been going for. All right. Jim Rohn is awesome, good taste. How much do I suggest spending in total for your first order? Honestly, between a thousand and, and you know a thousand and two thousand dollars. I think that's the perfect that's the perfect uh, amount there. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. That's the end of this live. We've been up for like forty two minutes, so we're gonna do another one on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media if you guys are interested in the Amazon Freedom Course. The link is below. You guys get me as a mentor for life. Get you guys get access to my personal Facebook uh, chat, so you guys can ask, ask me any questions. Anyway, um, stay tuned for amazing content coming up, vlogs, drone footage, um, you know, insane tropical beaches in Fiji, and I'm going to be going, going there soon. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later.